hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to define variables in few web template and in case you missed previous discussion about how to use for loop statement in few web template please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about few web related topics as well as the odoo related topics you can visit the odoo development and here you can see different types of playlist available with different topics with real task cases if you need any support you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address source code also available in the github and we have some social media pages make sure you can also follow and yes don't forget to subscribe this channel to get the latest notification so let's make to our main topic like how you can define variables in qr so let's say in the python side we are using some predefined variables and then adding some values to that variable and then after access we can use for the right so same in a q web report in a q web template you can also access you can also generate or let's say the create variables so for that like let's go to the module we already created this module from scratch right and you can see this is a for loop statement right let me comment this one All right and here we will add variable tutorial something like this and for that like let's say in a python side we are using like this right so here in the queue of template you can't do like this so for that you have to use the t tag t dash that this is the variable here we have to use the variable name and then after the value under the t dash value right so here let's say a equal to 1 2 3 4 like this so in our python side we can we have to consider like this all right so this is for the python side and this is for the qf side now it's very easy to understand right and now let's say if you want to print this one then you can use here the t dash esc equal to s right and now you can see here i already told you in the conditional statement and the data output statement what is the difference between t dash field and t dash esc in the t dash field you can access only the field of the specific model right but if you want to print another thing like let's say you want to print to some variables of the qr right so that part is also possible using the t dash esc so now let me print this a variable let me upgrade the module but before upgrade the module i'm trying to upgrade module in the terminal side minus u and the module name if you don't know how to configure this odoo with python you can check editor layer playlist already i already explained and let me go to in the student profile let's say the jack halal and let me print here that variable name all right so you can see this is a variable name one two three four This is not only the you can add simple variables like this. You can also override this a, a variable here. T dash esc equal to a t dash value a in a double quote in a single quote web plus. And let me print this one also here. now i'm trying to upgrade the module i'm going back to the student profile and i'm trying to print the variable this report oh we need a one mistake here sorry for that set let me upgrade the module so you don't need don't forget to add t dash that otherwise it happens something like this right
so you can see this is the first value of the variable a and this is the override value of the variable of the a all right so you can see we just override this value to this value now let's say you want to print you want to store data from the field right so you can also do it like this doc dot name t or let's say t t and s instead of t we can use here p let me upgrade the module i'm going back to the student profile and regenerate this report you can see here the jet halal why it's jet halal you can see the record set itself is the jet halal right we print the name this name so that's the reason it will display here the jet halal and you can also update override line by line in a for each loop also like let's say let me add this one Test ESC, sorry, not ESC. Set like let's say ABC is a variable name, value is a zero. I want to find out to how many records is available in the key in this full underscore list, right? So for that, like I can use something like this: set equal to ABC e dash value equal to like ABC plus equal to plus one like this and after the for each statement let me print this one abc so this is actually auto increment number all right let me upgrade the module let me print here the report and now you can see total two right and it starts with the zero and if you double check here in the school name you can see total two records available right so that's the reason the total student is two and that's the reason it display as a two all right so like this way you can add variable using t dash set and uh, prefix value if you want to add using t dash value like this way all right so this is the way you can create your own variables in the few web template in case you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in next session